Hey guys, welcome to Chisholm Prism. My name is Taylor Chisholm, and today I'm going to be renovating my dining room light fixture. It's kind of old and outdated, so we're going to give it a new, fresh look with this DIY project. I hope you enjoy, and let's go! So like I mentioned, we need to fix this light. I seen some stuff on Pinterest um, of this cool bulb light fixture that seems fairly simple to make. I need something that's renter friendly um, that I can easily just cover it. So I thought this idea would be awesome in here and hopefully you guys can get some inspiration for this too if you just have a fixture in your house that you want to revamp. Let's get into the supplies that I'll be using um, and that you will need if you want to go forward with this project as well. I'll put links in the description um, to some of the items that I'm using. For this project you'll need a good amount of Elmer's glue, some twine, measuring tape, scissors, and the most important part, a beach ball. Something that's inflatable that will be the diameter of your light fixture. For the first step, you're gonna take the beach ball that is the width. You want it to be a little bit wider than the light fixture itself, so we're gonna wrap the fixture. So I have found this jumbo beach ball that is 42 inches wide. So it's gonna be definitely wide enough to surround my fixture. I also have one that is 24 inches. Let's blow these up. It's gonna take a while, I'll be back. Ten hours later. Okay, so have the ball. Now that the ball is inflated, we are going to wrap it in twine, making sure to use the glue to stick to the surface. And we're just gonna go all the way around, keep wrapping it until most of the surface is covered, so that's why we're going to need a lot of this twine. So let's get started with that. Some tips that I do have if you want to create this project for yourself is one, making sure you have enough twine. I ran out midway and needed to order more twine and glue. For tip number two, I would say when you make your glue mixture, you can put more water in there. I do like 50-50 glue and water because you can dilute the glue and have more to use so you won't run out later. And that bottle that I had, it could last <laughs> to complete this project. I just used so much glue by itself and that was kind of a waste. Okay, this is the progress where I'm at right now. I've used two of the yarn um, spools, but I do need to go get some more glue because we ran out. Um, but once I get some more glue, I'll finish this off and I think we should be good. Come on, my hands are so sticky. So, you know, you're doing it right when your hands feel like a kindergartner in art class. 72 hours later. For tip number three, I'd say definitely have on hand some kind of like bowl or holder that can support something that is that wide um, so it's not rolling around on you. For tip number four, a strategy that I learned later down the line is when wrapping this ball, put the twine in the glue, like submerge it, and then just kind of rinse it out with your hands. 
because if I was using a brush for a really long time to brush every single line of twine all around this ball and it took me like twice as long. For my tip number five, I'd say just have fun with this. Like it's a very messy project. It will take a little bit of time, but it's definitely worth the time. Just put on your favorite like binge show or a movie that you like and just kind of run through it and time will fly by. Hey guys, it's a new day. I have finished that globe chandelier project and I want to install it and take you guys along the journey with me. Okay, so if you guys can see here, I have the orb. Um, it's finally dry too, so I can touch it, interact with it. And the next step we need to do is deflate this ball inside, um, just leaving the shell of the wire twine. And then we'll hang it up, hang it up there. Let's go. Let's cut this open. So next task is to get this attached to that chandelier. So <laughs> let's see how we're, how we're gonna do that. So luckily the chandelier, I can take off those little um, lampshades it has on each one just so it fits better and it looks a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Um, and I'll just put it back up when I need to move out. So it's not that big of a deal. That one's just faulty. I can't get it to work. I changed the light bulb, it doesn't, it doesn't want to change. Final step, adding the globe. guys honestly this was such a cheap project and it turned out awesome like it looks really great it's better in person I think but it's just beautiful like I said all the items are gonna be below linked that you can find um, like subscribe if you want to support more of my channel and see some more fun DIY projects uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you later bye